Hi Patriots, Miss Greco here. I wanted to share with you this story that Miss Harris actually gave me that's our read aloud for our principled learner profile this month. So this story is called What Should Danny Do? And it's a really cool story because it actually has eight stories in one. And so the reason that it has eight stories in one is because as the reader, there are different parts of the story that ask the reader to decide what you want Danny to do in the story. So as you read, you come to a page where it asks you to make a decision, and then based on the decision you make, you go to a specific page. So there's actually eight different endings to this story. So for example, if you look down here, this is a what should Danny do moment. So there's a question here. So as the reader, you get to decide what Danny does. So now I've recorded two versions of how this story ends. One is a version where Danny's making all principled choices, and the other is where Danny is making not principled choices. So um, as a class, I hope you will listen to both, kind of have a discussion about how his day ended up at school when he made principled choices versus choices that were not principled. I also wanted to tell you that if you like this kind of a story where it's interactive as a reader and you're choosing different choices for your characters, there are some books in the hub that are fiction books, they're, they're chapter books, and as you read the story, that gives you options of choices you get to make for your character. And so the story takes different paths based on the choices that you're making. So if you like this kind of a story, we have some options in the hub too, so come check them out. This time when I read the story, every time I'm given an option of what to have Danny do in the story, I'm always going to choose the option where he's not being principled. So I want you to think about all the things that happened to Danny throughout the story because he's choosing the option to not be principled when he's asked to make a decision. This is the reminder page of the symbols that are used in the story to navigate around the story since there are eight different endings. Hi, my name is Danny and I'm a superhero in training. I have lots of cool superpowers. I can make myself invisible. I'm super strong, I have x-ray vision, and even though learning how to fly is harder than I thought it would be, I'm not giving up anytime soon. I've been testing a superpower called the power to choose at home, and today I'm going to practice using it at school. With this power, I can change my day by changing my choices. Today is a special day because you'll be making choices for me. When you reach an ending, you can start over and change your choices. Then we'll see how powerful the power to choose really is. Ready? Let's go. Oh no! This morning I was caught by the evil Dr. Ninjario. But have no fear. After a hundred thousand minutes, I'm finally on the brink of escaping. His laser beam dungeon is no match for me. Danny, it's time to get ready for school, Mommy calls out. Oh man, I'm busy trying to escape from Dr. Ninjario. If I stop now, I may never get out. So here's my first choice. What should Danny do? Should he continue playing or stop playing and get ready for school? Now remember, I'm choosing the choices that are not principled. So if he's acting the opposite of what it means to be principled, he's going to choose to continue playing. There's no way I'll let Dr. Ninjario beat me. I find my way through the laser beams and finally reach the ladder to the secret escape hatch. Just then, Mommy calls out, Three minutes till the bus is here. Three minutes? Oh, man, Dr. Ninjario had me tangled in a time warp. I hurry to get dressed, but finding my other shoe takes forever. Then I remember that today is show and tell. I quickly grab Webster, my tarantula, and put him in my backpack. I run outside, but I'm too late. Daddy takes me to school, so he'll be late to work. He doesn't seem happy about that. Finally, I get to school and Zoom to class. I'm late, so I don't get to sit next to my best friends, Maddie and Jakey, during show and tell. I tiptoe to an empty spot and wait for my turn. Finally, Miss Blakely calls me up. I reach into my backpack, but Webster isn't there. Uh-oh. I can't find Webster, I say. Is he a hamster, Miss Blakely asks. 
No, he's a... Just then, Maddie shrieks, Ah! I zoom to grab Webster, but Maddie is still mad. How could you let him loose, Maddie asks. It was an accident. I know it was an accident, Miss Blakely says, but you'll have to be more responsible. Please find a way to keep your tarantula safe and away from others. I find what I need and build a cage, but by the time I'm done, I'm late to recess. Aw, oh, man, the soccer game already started, and that's my favorite sport. They're still picking teams for basketball, so I use my super speed to rush over there. Alexis picks me, but the teams end up so unfair. Jonah, Sarah, Mario, and Paul are all so good. I'm worried, even with my superpowers, there's no way we can win. So here's my next choice. What should Danny do? Should Danny leave and look for something else to play? Or try his best and have fun no matter what? So I'm choosing the choice that is not being principled. So Danny's going to choose to leave and look for something else to play. I won't play with teams this unfair. I walk off the court. Come on, Danny, Alexis calls. They'll have more players than us if you don't play. I don't care, I say. We'll lose anyway. I look for something else to play, but nothing looks fun. I'm super bored. After recess, Maddie seems upset. I thought your spider would kill me, she says. I laugh. Tarantulas can't kill you. It's not funny, Danny. I don't want to play with you for the rest of the day. She stomps away. Back in class, Miss Blakely is teaching some new math. I'm not in the mood. I can't stop thinking about how mean Maddie was to me. Here's my next choice. What should Danny do? Should he apologize to Maddie for letting Webster loose or find a way to get even with Maddie for being mean? Remember, if I'm choosing the option that's Danny not being principled, I would choose find a way to get even with Maddie for being mean. I have the perfect idea. I turn my math worksheet over and draw a picture of Mad Maddie. I show it to her, but she starts crying and takes it straight to Miss Blakely. Uh-oh. Who drew this, she demands. Danny, Maddie says, still crying. Danny, you'll need to stay in and see me after school, Miss Blakely says. Oh, no. Now I'm in serious trouble. Later at lunch, Jakey and Maddie are mad at me, so I just sit alone. After I finish eating, Mario crashes right into me. His chocolate pudding spills all over my shirt. What should Danny do? Should he wash the pudding off or yell at Mario? Remember, Danny in this story is choosing all of the choices that are not being principled. So if I'm choosing a choice that's not being principled, Danny is going to yell at Mario. Watch where you're going, meanie, I yell. Mario sneers. At least I don't have mud all over my shirt. I'm so mad, I throw the rest of my lunch at him. He throws his lunch back at me. We get sent to the principal's office, and now I have to go in first. Do you know why you're here, Danny? Mr. Kimball asks. I've had a terrible day, I say. Do you know why your day was so terrible? I made a lot of poor choices. I start to cry. I have to call your parents and ask them to pick you up, he says. I cry even louder. While I'm waiting for Mommy, Mr. Kimball says, No matter what is happening to you, how you react is always a choice you make. If you use your power to choose wisely tomorrow, I'm sure you'll have a much better day. That's the end of our story of what should Danny do if we choose all of the options that make him not principled. So I want you to think, Patriots, about that last part of the story where Mr. Kimball says, no matter what is happening to you, how you react is always a choice you make. Some of you have heard the saying, two wrongs don't make a right. I know sometimes when we're in a disagreement with friends, or we're arguing with friends during a game, or maybe we're kind of mad at someone we're working with, or even our siblings or our parents, it's really easy to say something that's unkind. But remember, you always have control over how you react to what's happening around you. No matter what's going on, you always have the choice of how you react. 
So before you react in a way that makes you not be principled, try to take a moment to stop, breathe, think about what a principled student would do in that same situation. If you have not heard the other version of this story that's recorded where Danny chooses all of the principled options for the day, make sure you check it out to see how his day changes when he's making principled choices. Have a great day, Patriots.